Did you hear that Suicide Squad director David Ayer has been fired from the Scarface reboot? That Martin Scorsese has finally convinced Joe Pesci to come out of retirement? Now go home and get your f***ing shine box. What about Quentin Tarantino's next film based on the Manson family murders? No? Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 3. Scarface Reboot Fire Suicide Squad Director David Ayer I know all that bullshit, Seidelbaum. Save your breath. Looks like Scarface is hitting the reboot button on their director once again. After hiring Suicide Squad's David Ayer, the production has fired him, saying that his script was too dark for their vision. You know what I'm talking about, you f***ing cockroach. Even with the critical disaster that was Suicide Squad, Ayer's dismissal for penning a dark story has some fans and industry people puzzled, since Scarface is originally violent and mature. You know it, I know it. The production has been a revolving door of filmmakers, with Antoine Fuqua, Pablo Lorraine, and David Yates leaving the project. Rogue One star Diego Luna, who was cast as the new Tony Montana, is still set to lead the film, but without any directors ready to take Ayer's place, Universal will have to find a replacement. Ayer will tide himself over by finishing work on his latest film, Bright, a Netflix original starring Will Smith and Joel Edgerton. You finished? Can I go now? Number 2. Joe Pesci comes out of retirement for Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. If you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your f***ing head wide open in front of everybody in the bank. The wise guy finally said yes. After months of being hounded, Martin Scorsese's cast was rounded out when Joe Pesci finally caved and agreed to star in the director's latest, The Irishman. Now you're a f***ing mumbling, stuttering little f***, you know that? The gangster flick will see Pesci come out of retirement to star alongside Goodfellow Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. This marks the first time the actor will work with the legendary Scorsese. Also cast in this film is regular Scorsese collaborator Harvey Keitel and Bobby Carnavale, who recently worked with Scorsese on vinyl. I don't have a f***ing thing to add to that. The film, which follows mobsters through different points in time, will utilize CGI technology to transform the aging actors to their younger selves. The film, which was bought by Netflix for $100 million, will tell the story of a hitman recounting the role he played in the hit against Jimmy Hoffa. Scorsese's movie is set to start filming in August in New York. Before we get to our final pick, here are a couple new releases. Mama? <laughs> Number 1. Quentin Tarantino taking on Manson murders in next film. Ooh. That's a bingo! <laughs> Quentin Tarantino's newest film may not be one of his signature originals, but that doesn't mean it'll be void of his trademark style and violence. Bye, Miss Laura. First broke by The Hollywood Reporter, the iconic filmmaker is said to be taking on the Manson family, with the story specifically focusing on Sharon Tate, the pregnant wife and actress of director Roman Polanski, who was killed along with four of her friends by Manson followers. The hell you say? Rumors are already flying on who Tarantino will cast. You gotta make some phone calls? You gotta call some people? Well then do it! In conflicting reports, Brad Pitt, who has worked with Tarantino on Inglorious Bastards, is said to play either the detective investigating the murders or the prosecutor in the trial. River Darch. Jennifer Lawrence and Margot Robbie are also in the mix, rumored to play Sharon Tate. If this does indeed end up being Tarantino's next film, it would mark the first time the director tackles a true story. Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.